music with Miss Ethier. Yes, it's gonna be real fun. We will work together now, one for all and all for one. You will learn to dance and sing. La 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 la. Oh, what joy the music brings. So get ready. Good afternoon, kindergarten and first grade students. As always, I like to start my music lessons with our hello song, which we talked a little bit about last week. Let's just see what we remember. Now friends, if you don't remember how the song goes, you can always just copy my movements. Ready? Let's do it on our shoulder first. Hello, hello, I'm so very glad to see you. Hello, hello, how are you today? Hello, hello, I'm so very glad to see you. Hello, hello, how are you today? How'd you do? Did you remember the song? If not, don't worry, let's try it again. This time I'm going to be a little tricky. I'm going to change my movements a lot. Do you think you could copy them? All right, let's sing and copy my movements. Let's do it. Hello, hello, I'm so very glad to see you. Hello, hello, how are you today? Hello, hello, I'm so very glad to see you. Hello, hello, how are you today? Do we do okay with the movements? How about this time you get to do any type of steady beat movement you want to do. Are you ready? Now you could copy me if you'd like, but you don't have to. Let's try it one more time, steady beat. Hmm, let me think of a cool move. Oh, I know, ready? Hello, hello, I'm so very glad to see you. Hello, hello, how are you today? Hello, hello, I'm so very glad to see you. Hello, hello, how are you today? Nice job, folks, good remembering. Alrighty, Cubs, so last week we uh, got introduced to our Cub Coat chant. Some of you might have known it before. For some of you, it was totally new. Today, I just wanted to give you another chance to look at it real quick. So up here on my board is our Cub Code chant. I hope you can read it well enough. Let's see what we remember from last week, shall we? So our first job is just to speak the whole thing and let's clap the rhythm as we speak it. Are you ready? A one, a two, and try it together. We are the Cubs, oh yes we are. With the Cub Code, we will go far. We show respect to all our friends, and we make good decisions. We solve problems all day long. When we're safe, we can't go wrong. When we use the Cub Code rules, we make TES a better school. Nice job, you guys. Let's do this. I'll do the black part. You do the red part. Ready? My turn. We are the Cubs, though. With the Cub code, we, we show respect to, and we make good. We solve problems. When we're safe, we, when we use the, we make T-E-S a, very nice. You take the black part, I'll take the red part. Ready? A one. A two and your turn first. Yes, we are. We'll go far. All our friends. Decisions. All day long. Can't go wrong. Cub code rules. Better school. We're doing great. How about this? <laughs> okay, everybody does the whole thing, but instead of clapping the rhythm, let's do our super cool little rhythm that we like to do at our, at our um, assemblies. And that rhythm looks like this. One, two, three, pat, pat, clap. It's pretty cool. It makes me think of a super cool song called We Will Rock You, right? We will, we will rock you, right? Makes me think of that song. We get to do that super cool rhythm underneath 
our cub code chant. Can we do it? Yeah, I think so. Let's do it, people. Let's get that rhythm going first. Ready? Here you go. Pat, pat, clap. Pat, pat, clap. A one, a two, and speak it. Here we go. We are the cubs. Oh, yes, we are. With the cub code, we will go far. We show respect to all our friends, and we make good decisions. We solve problems all day long. When we're safe, we can't go wrong. When we use the cub code rules, we make TES a better school. You have got it. Way to go. Hmm, is there anything else tricky that I want to do with this right at the moment? Hmm. How about, let's speak it one more time, and how about instead of doing pat, pat, clap, we keep the same rhythm, but you could do any kind of body percussion you'd like. So maybe I'm gonna do snap, snap, shoulder. And you can do whatever kind of rhythm you wanna go with it, ready? I'm gonna do two snaps and a shoulder. Take a few seconds to think about what your body percussion's gonna be. Think, 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 think. Okay, are you ready? Let's try it. Get your new body percussion going and then we'll try it. Here you go. It's one, two, three. One, two, three. A one, two, and speak it. Here we go. We are the Cubs. Oh, yes, we are. With the Cub code, we will go far. We show respect to all our friends and we make good decisions. We solve problems all day long. When we're safe, we can't go wrong. When we use the Cub Code rules, we make TES a better school. Nicely done, folks. Good job. All righty, my kindergarten and first grade friends, it is time to get up and move. We're gonna do one of my favorite songs called the Hokey Pokey. We've got this, people. Let's do it. Let me turn on the music. It starts with your right foot. You put your right foot in, you take your right foot out, you put your right foot in, and shake it Ooh, all I can't around. Do it. You turn you to the hokey pokey, and you turn yourself around, and that's what it's all about. Left foot. You put your left foot in, you take your left foot out, you put your left foot in, and shake it all about. And then you do the hokey pokey, and to do something tricky and your job is to see if you can figure out what I did to make it so tricky. Let's see. We're going to do it again. Do you notice a difference? I think you will in a second. You put your right foot in, you take your right foot out, you put your right foot in and shake it all about and then you do the hokey pokey and you turn yourself around. And that's what it's all about. Left foot. Hey, you put your left foot in. You take your left foot out. You put your left foot in. And shake it all about. And then you do the hokey pokey. And you turn yourself around. And that's what it's all about. Right hand. Hey, you put your right hand in. You take your right hand out. You put your right hand in. And shake it all about. And then you do the hokey pokey. And you turn yourself around. 
whole self out, you put your whole self in, then shake it all about, and then you do the hokey pokey, and you turn yourself around, and that's what it's all about. Hey! Did you notice, friends, that it was a little faster? And what if I did this? Oh my goodness! Get ready, friends! Whew. Are we up for this? We got this. Let's do it. <gasps> it's way faster! Put your right foot in, take your right foot out, put your right foot in, then shake it all about, and then you do the hokey pokey and you turn yourself around, and that's what it's all about. Hey. You put your left foot in, you take your left foot out, put your left foot in, then shake it all about, and then you do the hokey pokey and you turn yourself around, and that's what it's all about. Hey. You put your right hand in, you take your right hand out, put your right hand in, and shake it all about, and then you do the hokey pokey and you turn yourself around, and that's what it's all about. Did you notice that each time it got faster and faster? Whew! Well done! Okay, friends, so I have a fun little project for us to do uh, where we're going to get a chance to make our own instruments. Whoop, whoop! Now, some of you from last year, last spring, might have already done this activity with me, but I know a lot of folks didn't. Obviously, my kindergartners haven't done it, and for anyone that's new this year, you haven't gotten a chance to do this either. So I want to make sure that everyone has the opportunity to make an instrument at home, and there are lots of different ways that we can do that. All you would need to do this activity, and you can do one or all of these instruments, it's up to you. All you would need are a paper plate, possibly a um, water bottle if you have one, just a plastic water bottle, and some of you might have some plastic eggs maybe saved up from Easter that you could use for this activity. And then you also need something to use to fill up your instrument that's going to make the sound. Now this is where you get to be a little bit creative, folks, because the different things that you choose will end up making a different sound. Okay? So I have here some popcorn kernels and I have some quinoa which if any of you have seen quinoa before, it's kind of like, hopefully you can see it, it's kind of like little mm, tiny pellets, kind of. Um, so we have quinoa or popcorn kernels, but at home you can use whatever you've got. Maybe rice would work for you. Or maybe you go outside and find a couple of tiny little rocks you could put in. Okay? It's really up to you. And the things that you choose will affect the sound that it makes. Okay? So let's start with something really simple. Okay? If you have an Easter egg, or if you don't, don't worry about it, but if you have an Easter egg that you can find, all you've got to do is open it up, boop, and fill it with whatever you want to make the sound. I'm going to fill it up with a little bit of quinoa, because the quinoa it's going to make a mess all over my table. <laughs> the quinoa is really light and soft. It makes a very soft sound. So I filled up some quinoa in my egg. You don't need to do too much, friends, because it's going to make plenty of sound, I promise. And then, voila, I have a shaker. Now, sometimes it's smart to put tape on it just to make sure it doesn't open up and get quinoa or whatever, rocks or anything all over your house. But what's also kind of fun, friends, is you could, if you have multiple eggs, you could fill each one up with something different and listen to the different sounds it makes. Okay? But there's my quinoa shaker. Easy peasy, lemon squeezy. And then what if you have a water bottle? A water bottle is really simple, too, because, again, you just got to open it up. Obviously, it needs to be empty. 
You could decorate it a little bit if you wanted. If you wanted to take like Sharpies, you could draw on the side of it and make it look super pretty. And then you've got to fill it up with something. So I'm going to put some, I'm just going to kind of experiment here because it's good to experiment a little bit, right? This is going to make a big mess, isn't it? Oh boy. Hmm. Oh, Mrs. Ethier. Let me get my little, let me get my little spoon out here. I'm going to put a spoonful. Uh, yeah. Oh, it only made a little mess. Not too bad. Hi. Yeah. Okay. So, friends, let's just see what that sounds like by itself. nice. What if I added some of that quinoa into it too? Get my spoon out. Do do do. Add some quinoa. Or again. Ooh, I got quinoa all over the table. Um, again, use what you have, friends. If you have rice at home, try rice. If you've got little rocks at home, try little rocks. Let's see if that changes the sound. Oh, it did change the sound. Okay, so it's really an experiment. You can fill it up however you want to make the sound that you want it to have, okay? So we have our water bottle, we have our egg shaker, and then this one over here, oops, I got quinoa all over, is going to end up looking something like this. Now, friends, you can decorate it however you want to do. I'm not going to guide you through that part because it's really however you want to do it, okay? But um, mine looks like this. I made it look like the Tahoma Cubs. Whoop, whoop, Tahoma Cubs. Um, and it shakes like this. I've got some popcorn kernels in there, I think, and a little bit of quinoa, too. So let me show you how to do that. So you've got your paper plate. Okay, you're going to be folding it up after you put your stuff in. So for the decorating part, you just get to decorate the back of your plate. However you want to do it. Draw pictures on it. Maybe you could paint it and make it lots of different colors. Totally up to you. So you decorate the back of it first. I'm just going to leave this one white. Then you get to do the filling up part. Again, friends, you don't need to put a whole lot of stuff in there. Just a little bit will do just fine. I'm going to put a few popcorn kernels in there. Oh, 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 oh. Let's see. Hi yeah. Maybe a little more. Not too much. And then I'm going to add some quinoa, too, to soften it up a little bit, I hope. Do -do -do. Okay, so it's not too much, and then I'm going to fold it up. It's going to look like a taco. Oops, I'm going to really try and fold it right down the middle, I hope. There we go. See how it looks like a cute little taco? Okay, do do do. It's important to make sure that your plate, that you have a really tight crease on your plate so that you don't get things escaping from it. Okay, and then you take a lovely stapler. Hopefully this stapler will work for me. And you get to go like this. hi -ya! Oh yeah, it works. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. And hi -ya! Whoop, 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 it didn't work that time. Oh, phooey. hi -ya! Oh no. Make sure you have a stapler that works. <laughs> All right, try again. hi -ya! Nope. Boop. Well, we're going to... Uh-oh. Wait, wait, wait. Oh, darny darn. Well, I got one done. It gives you the idea, friends. Nope, I'm not going to fix my stapler right now. It gives you the idea. So you would staple all around and make sure that every little bit gets stapled or else... Uh-oh, see how I just had a popcorn kernel escape? <laughs> you have to make sure it's all stapled all around. And then it'll sound something like this. Okay? It's a really fun project to do. So I suggest you do one or all of these things, however you want to do it this week. 
And um, in conclusion, I would love to see pictures of whatever it is you come up with, whatever instruments you make this week. I'd love to see some pictures of it or maybe even videos of you playing it because I want to hear how they sound. Okay, so I hope you have fun making instruments and playing them, just experimenting with different sounds. Nice job this week. Bye.